Does the gentlewoman from Missouri seek recognition? I move to strike the last word. The gentlewoman is recognized for five minutes. I want to thank the chairwoman for holding this markup today. And as the ranking member of the Subcommittee on Diversity and Inclusion, I have spent the past six months working hand in glove with my good friend, uh, Subcommittee Chairwoman Beatty, to ensure equality of opportunity among those from diverse backgrounds in the financial services industry. An equal playing field is an imperative component of building a successful workforce and attracting talent. We have learned a great deal from hearings this year that implementing best practices in recruitment, retention, mentorship, and promotion are foundational to achieving greater diversity and inclusion in the financial services sector. The financial services industry can find ways to better seek out and train promising women and minority candidates at entry, mid, and senior level career stages. It's going to take a strong collective will within our federal agencies and across all sectors of the economy to make America's corporations more reflective of this nation's diversity. This requires cultural changes within our institutions and among corporate leadership, not just because it's good business, but because it is the right thing to do. I want to say thank you to all my colleagues who are helping move this ball forward. I thank the ranking member, for uh, Patrick McHenry, for his uh, solid support of our work in DNI, and I look forward to supporting this legislation today. Uh, and, and other pieces of legislation that will help ensure that the financial services industry is reaping the benefits of our country's diversity. I, I'll yield, yield to, the, uh, to the ranking member. Well, 